Okay, hey everyone, we're gonna try and knock another one out, Schniggity Schnack. So, this one, uh, I might need a controller for. Hey, controller, I haven't used you in a bit. So, I've been doing Switch games, so I've been using other controller. I find that with uh, PC games, a wired controller is just so much better, so much less lag, so much less hassle. Um, cause yeah, I kept having them disconnect and all kinds of freaking issues. It was stupid. So I just went back to my old trusty Logitech. Anyway, um, you know, the one, the like blue Logitech controller that we all have, like check, check your house. You have one. I swear to God. Anyway. Uh, so this game I bought because of the name, because it just says right here, Matroid, but the full name in the Steam store is Matroid, period. I swear it's a nice game too. <laughs> and that's what it says. Like, I now own Matroid, period. I swear it's a nice game too. So... We're going to find out whether or not it's a nice game as well. Oh, hold up. Hold up. i got to move my, this over so I can make sure that when it launches that, oh, it's launching windowed. It's now it's not windowed. Okay. Is it going to actually, oh, look at that. I like it when a game actually launches in decent freaking, uh, yeah, when a game actually launches in the correct screen dimensions, the screen resolution that you have it set to. Yeah, let's go save slot number one. Oh, do I not have... Are we not... Okay, okay. Save slot number one. Okay, hold up. It's not responding. Give me a second. Okay, so we're officially able to do things. Let's go to options. I want to see if there's controller support. Oh, I don't want to customize keyboard, but I want to see what the controls are. Uh, okay, WASD, K is shoot. J is melee attack. L, I, R. What? Okay, and then one, two, three, four. So JKL are various attacks. Okay, those are weird controls. Uh, I. All right, I will trust that that is reasonable. We'll 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 do what we can. Save slot number one. Let's be an acolyte. Um, I'm already thinking that this game would be better with, uh, gamepad controls. <laughs> At last. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, ball of lightning. <laughs> okay, like, so decent freaking, uh, pixel art so far. So, here we are. This time my lungs aren't on fire and it's easy to breathe. This thing has grown into my hand even deeper though, or is it just my imagination? Just, oh, look at it. It's like auto achieving a bunch, I think. Oh no, is this one of those games that people use buy for auto achiever purposes? If my sister could see me now, she wouldn't have agreed to take part in all this. But surprisingly, it went smoothly with her, even too smoothly. Okay, press L to jump. That's my shoot, that's my attack. Okay. Okay, I mean, this is a good looking game. It looks nice so far. Oh, okay. I'm telling you, this is too, like, good to not have, um, freaking, uh, controller support. 
Do, are you sure you don't have controller support? Come on. <laughs> you don't. You really, really, truly do not have controller support. W what do we got to do to get this game controller support? Because, like, it's obviously... And the ritual we had to get here. It seemed like a cruel joke on the situation. I don't think I'm actually auto-achieving that much. I think it's just the achievement is stuck down here. Anyway. Seemed like a cruel joke on the situation. Well, now it's not the time to be thinking about this. No fork so far. I just need to move forward without waiting for Ron. Yeah, because obviously... Oh, wait. How, do, how to duck? Oh, I should have jumped instead. Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I've got to jump for those. Uh, yeah, these controls. T oh, I could like really lay down some suppressing fire on these people. Ah, uh, if 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 you get hit while press L after touching the yellow sphere to do an additional jump. Okay. Okay, that's weird. I wonder how Anna's doing. I hope she's all right. I shouldn't have involved her in all this, but I didn't have another choice, did I? Okay, um, yeah. J for melee attack. Okay. Holy smokes. Why do I have to melee you? Why can't I K you? Oh, you just absorb it? That's... Okay. So I can actually. Okay. You can replenish your health with melee attacks or by killing enemies. Wait, just doing melee attacks? Do I have to do it on an enemy? Okay. Yeah, this is still a weird control scheme. I hope there won't be any problems. Blah, 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 blah. After all, according to the book, the realm my sister is currently in must be completely safe. I would have checked it myself, but we were running out of time. Besides, Ananisa... This is a lot of uh, internal monologuing for a freaking platformer. Like, more mystery, less history. Sister, Mr. Fister. Oh, press I to dash. Oh, you are invincible for enemy attacks, requires two energy bars. Okay, and then you probably build up your character over time. All right. I mean, I like the sprites. I like the pixel art. I like the style. Uh, the only thing I don't like is the freaking controls, honestly. Oh, don't freaking, okay. I, wait, oh, how did I exit the game? <laughs> I, I exited the game. I don't know how. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> but I did. Pixel greeds. Okay. When I say resume, where is it going to resume me? Okay. Like, because my melee attacks replenish my health is like, why would I do anything else? Kind of, you know? Press the button to turn off the laser. Uh, turn off the laser. Oh, I press it just by jumping on it. Oh, <laughs> and then it turns back on. All right, come here, enemies. I need to kill you so I can... 
Ron should take care of her. To my surprise, she's very good at topography and orientation. Although sometimes the city can't even take care of himself. Like, okay, down L to slide. Oh, these controls are so, like, convoluted from what I'm used to with uh, this type of game. Like, because you could do all of this much, oh, much more simply with press the button to open the door. Okay. And then it's going to close again, I have no doubt. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, you can shoot straight down. Well, freak that. Okay, why do I collect these blue things for? Do they also replenish health or do they give points? Anyway, I should have sent him there instead of Anna. On the other hand, he doesn't feel that strong connection to the book as me or Anna. If I trust my sister more, like you should not give this much backstory person. Like how much do you love your world building that you're like, that this is how you're spending your time. Oh. Anyway, press down L in the air to bounce off enemies and their projectiles. Wait. Wait. I didn't do any of those things. Uh, that's kind of silly. But like, is otherwise a good looking game. Anyway, I, I just don't know what to make of it. And like, look at that, you know, foreground background business. Like, I like that. Reminds me of some very good games that I have played in my time. Anyway, bounce off the bird's egg to destroy it. Press down an L in the air. That's the... Oh, I get it. Because I was like, what bird's egg? And then it manifested behind the tree. I did stomp you. Ah. Oh. These controls, man. I'm telling you. There we go, finally. God, it was entirely too much. Uh, man. I, Cause I swear you could just do that with the down button. Just do jumping down with the controller. Why does this have to be complicated? You're telling me. The beginning, it reminded me more of a mountain walk. Okay, uh, as soon, yeah, as soon as I get the book. This is so much talking. Okay, uh, you can fall through the, oh, if we are trusting my ability to, haha. Oh, and they're, they're pretty sensitive, too, the controls. You can destroy red lasers with melee and ranged weapons. Anyway. And there's the last thing. You can turn off the story and options. 
why would you have this much story on? Like, you clearly understand that you don't need it. Oh, look at the idle animation. Just, like, put her hands behind her back. Like, oh, come on, dingus. Like, does, what is that? Does she have, like, a Mega Man hand? Anyway, um, I said that I would end it on the next one, and I shall. I, I totally shall. We're gonna go. Oh, there's a map? Cool. <laughs> um, because this game is called Metroid. I'm assuming that they're telling me it's a Metroidvania type, but if it, if, if I get more moves, defeat the FST bosses to proceed further. Okay. But like, if I have to learn more weird key combinations in order to do moves, like I would just prefer a controller at this point. I'm telling you. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go main menu. And we're gonna go exit. All right, Metroid. I swear it's a nice game to two. Yeah, Metroid. I swear it's a nice game too. I only got two achievements out of the possible eleven. I entered the realm, a certain unscientific realm, <laughs> and I got my first blood. GG. I killed my first enemy. Anyway, so. That's the thing. I've got nine more things to experience in the game. Let me pause and put a score on it. It's already gone on too long. Okay. So we played Metroid. I swear it's a nice game too. Uh, really good looking game uh, for the money. I mean, 50 cents. That is more than 50 cents worth of really nicely done pixel art. Um, but, and, and, like, it has its downsides. I do not like the controls. What, like... I swear to God, I would uh, pay a dollar to have a version of that game in which um, the controls... You know what? Let's find out. Let's go store. Let's find out if there's an updated version of Metroid. Nope. Just the one. <laughs> Just the one. And look, they did, like, they did patch plus good news... F12 button no longer launches the debug menu. What? But I want it. Anyway, new items can be found in secret levels. Fixed uh, rare bug and 3C minor bugs and typos. Okay. Um. Yeah. So they've updated it. Like what it really needs is controller support. Like 1000%. Because I otherwise really like the game. But I swear to God, like, it was way too difficult to remember which button does what when I've got both hands on the keyboard. I haven't played a game with both hands on the keyboard and no hands on the mouse. I don't remember when. Like, it, you gotta go back to DOS days. You gotta go back to, like, when I was playing DOS-based games, like, quitting out of Windows 3.1 like exiting to DOS, loading it up in DOS itself, and then playing keyboard-based games in which I had to have both hands on the keyboard. That's that's how old we're going. So Matroid, if the developer is out there and can hear me, like controller support. <laughs> Wait, controller configuration d does have does have. Uh, anyway, I mean, can I, anyway, regardless, I haven't messed around with Steam controller configurations, but like, if I can make it control with a controller, I will really like this game. Oh, I uninstalled it because I have so many others that I'm going to do. So that's, uh, I, that's how I'm operating with all of these, except for the fishing game. Um, so yeah, here's my final score. Samus from Super Metroid because it's got really good pixel art and it is apparently a Metroidvania style. Like that, like that a lot. Um, a hammer uh, breaking a keyboard because it obvious reasons and a big freaking book full of words. 
like why not make the story mode default off and then if people are curious they can be like who are these people and why should i care because <laughs> in a like in an rpg you really want to know who are these people and why should i care in a platformer is like less of that like you should spread it out i think Guacamele did a really nice job of having text in a Metroidvania type game, but and, and having deep story without ever making it feel like you are being engrossed too much and spending too much time reading and not enough time platforming. This game, like every time you get to a new level, jump through one of those portals, it's like big old bunch of words to read and it's like but i was gonna try to like hot knife some aliens also the fact that you regain hit points for the um melee attacks i mean it's an interesting thing but it makes me want to do nothing but melee so <laughs> i don't know something to consider it, yeah whatever i mean it's it's a part of the game i don't mind it but i know that people who are like gonna be more i want a hard game or might so anyway if you're a developer of this game and you see this video maybe some of the things anyway that is way more time than i wanted to spend on this but it's you know it's a game that is close it's almost there okay Bye.